Here we provide comprehensive medical care, mental health services, social services, addiction treatment, outreach, uh, access to housing, access to employment uh, for the individuals that we, that we serve. Our, our goal is um, not only to help them uh, access comprehensive health services, but to help end their homelessness, to, to move them off the streets and, and back into the mainstream. Like, the, like the, the, the Medicaid expansion especially. Health reform will expand Medicaid to uh, individuals up to 133% of the federal poverty level. Right now, that population, unless they have dependent children or unless they have a disability, they're not eligible for Medicaid. This is the most substantial improvement to the Medicaid program since the program was first created. Uh, another clear pro is it will provide organizations like ours the resources that we need to provide the health services. The resources that we're raising now from the private sector uh, can be used to actually help people find jobs, to actually move people into permanent supportive housing. We can provide more of the resources that people need to get off the streets and stay off the streets because we'll have greater access to federal resources to deliver the comprehensive health services. So not only can we increase the, comprehensive of the, the comprehensiveness of the services that our clients receive, uh, we then will have more of the resources that we're spending now for health care we can spend on um, housing, employment, and other, other forms of assistance. Okay. Thank you for asking. Always so good to see you. Yes, we yes. love you. I worry sometimes that uh, the passage of health reform will cause a lot of people on the congressional level to say, oh my goodness, we've done that. We've done health reform. And we know that health reform solved some of the problems, but it, it didn't create a universal system. Um, and we know that we'll still be wrestling with the fragmented nature of our healthcare system with the limits of Medicaid. Though, though health reform expands Medicaid to uh, a, a larger population, it doesn't fix the problems inherent to Medicaid. It doesn't uh, pay providers appropriately, so there's still some providers in the community that simply, simply won't accept Medicaid. Um, we need, as a society, to continue solving those problems. I worry that an un unintended consequence, at least for the next couple of years, will be uh, a lack of momentum toward those continued improvements. Now, there are some optimists among us that will say um, health reform will be uh, unrolling over the next four years, and that will bring with it great momentum to improve the health care system beyond what was uh, just passed. I, I hope those optimists are, are right. <laughs>